Hello, I am Kristen and welcome to my carnivore diet journey. Please make sure to subscribe and like my page and welcome to my kitchen. I am coming to you today from my kitchen because I'm already in here. I've been in here all day from making breakfast to creating some videos for you. So stay tuned. If you are subscribed, you'll get a notification that I am starting to make some yummy, yummy recipes. So one of the recipes that I've done today was my pork breakfast sausage and if you've been following along you know that Kristen why are you doing pork breakfast sausage when you have an intolerance or an allergy towards pork right well I am able to eat bacon I'm able to eat pork rinds and I noticed that if I make my own pork breakfast sausage that my body does okay with just one patty I'm getting the fat from that pork sausage and I'm getting my protein and extra protein with my eggs in the morning because I am an egg breakfast kind of person. So that is one of the recipes that I'm doing and I hope that you guys love it when you get it. It's a super simple recipe. I am all about simplicity. I have always loved meals that don't take hours and hours to make. I love meals that have very little ingredients and starting this carnivore diet journey, it actually is almost a blessing in disguise because as a Hispanic, we cook with a lot of condiments sometimes. And so ha being able to limit that a little bit, but still have your food taste good, that is a bonus. And so today I am also creating here in my kitchen, as you can see back here, the light is on. We are doing a carnivore pizza, carnivore crust. It's like, woo, I mean, I don't even know how to explain it because it is so good. It really, really is. And the reason that I started to research what kind of different meals that I can make is because when you are on such a restrictive diet, like the carnivore diet, it could get a little boring. It could get to where you get discouraged because you want to eat the foods that you used to like to eat, but you know that you can't. And so every weekend pretty much every weekend we would order pizza we are big ufc fans and so every time we were watching any type of mma ufc type of fight we would order pizza and so we haven't done this since my husband started the carnivore diet in october and so we've been kind of craving to have that pizza it's just kind of this little habit we created and it's something fun and it's just something that we like to do together and so I started doing the research, like I said, and I came up with this carnivore diet pizza that is absolutely delicious. And I can't wait to share that with you as well. So stay tuned. So I wanted to talk about yesterday, you know, that I went on this mini road trip with my husband for business and we were about two hours away from home and we were there till really late. So we ended up getting hungry, even though I had my big breakfast in the morning and I took my pork rinds in the car and that was our snack. We were hungry and I was not going to be able to make it two hour drive home without being hangry because i've talked to you about this and yes i do get hangry i don't care what anybody says so we drove around probably way too long to find a restaurant because being on the carnivore diet is really really hard to find a restaurant that is gonna suit your needs and not only be able to order something off their menu that works for you but that isn't drenched in seed oils and so they had tons and tons of restaurants where we were in Naples, but we were just like, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. You know, Japanese steakhouse where well, we don't want to sit. Yes, we can order a bunch of meat, but we don't want to sit and watch them cook the fried rice. It's way too tempting. Uh, pizza places obviously can't do, which is why we're making pizza today. And so we finally found this little pub place. And I'm like, let me get down and look at the menu. Burgers. Great. So we got down. I was able to order my burger. It was absolutely delicious grilled to perfection with blue cheese and bacon on top and the funny thing is that the other day i was looking at the different cheeses that some of the carnivores eat and blue cheese was one of them and i thought to myself oh my gosh i love blue cheese so it worked out absolutely perfect the only thing that i will say is that when you go to a restaurant it does feel awkward ordering and saying no bun and put the french fries or the chips on the side i'll take them home because i feel <laughs> I don't want to just pay for something and throw it away. It's not something that my kids eat often, but every once in a while there is a treat and they'll have it. More than likely they won't even eat it. They're not huge on 
eating a lot of french fries and stuff but we did take it home and the girl just misunderstood us completely the way that my husband ordered we were trying to explain that we just wanted the patty with the blue cheese and the bacon on our plate and to put the french fries in the to-go box she brought everything in the to-go box so <laughs> make it really clear and understanding because they're not understanding why we don't want bread and why we don't want to eat the fries they look at us like deer in the headlights what are these people talking about and so with that said the other thing that i have a problem with is having to pay full price for a dish that i'm only getting a meat so i'm paying 15 dollars for just a burger patty blue cheese and bacon now, I know it's gonna come out a lot cheaper eating at home. I was starving, we had a two hour drive home. And so it is what it is. And not only that, but sometimes it's just nice to go out to dinner and have a date with my husband because we didn't have the kids. So it was kind of just nice to do that. And so just go in knowing that you're gonna to have to pay this full price for whatever dish that you get to only eat the meat. That is a little bit hard. I feel that if you're at least animal-based, you can probably Sometimes they have the veggie medley that you can get the uh, zucchini or whatever on the side, or maybe even avocado on the side, um, but we're not there. So we just ate our burger, but yes, it was delicious. And I will be doing a short video on that, on how I ordered at that restaurant. So stay tuned for that as well. So that was pretty much our trip and just, it is difficult when you are going out. So maybe find things that you can take on your road trip. Um, maybe this was a very last minute road trip we got the item for our client and we he, he gave us the okay and we headed out so i didn't have enough time to plan the area that i was in and what restaurants they have but if you know where you're going on a road trip in advance go ahead and look at the restaurants that are around you and that way you don't spend time driving around like my husband and i did um, trying to find a restaurant that suits our carnivore needs so that is my advice tip to you and i hope that you have a beautiful day i hope to see you back again tomorrow on seeing how these dishes came out you i will probably post my pizza in my instagram stories so you can follow me over on instagram check i'll have all that information down in the description below have a beautiful day and i'll talk to you tomorrow